Hey Workout Buddies, I'm Paula and today I'm going to be doing a workout for about 20 minutes. We're going to do it all standing and we're going to maybe, if you want to, use five pound or two pound weights. I am not wearing sneakers, trainers, I'm doing it on my yoga mat and there will be no impact. But if you feel better wearing your sneakers, put your sneakers on. So let's get started. Let's take our feet to parallel. Soften our knees and do some nice shoulder circles, just opening up the chest, giving a gentle squeeze between those shoulder blades, spread your fingers nice and wide, getting that energy flowing through the body. So you may have been thinking about working out and you haven't started yet. Well, today is the day. Come on, let's do it. Let's keep going with these reverse shoulder circles and we'll do two more and one more and then let's finish by setting our shoulders back and lengthening out through our arms and legs. Take a nice reach upwards to the sky with a big breath in and exhale, spread those fingers wide as you lower down. Inhale, reach for the sky. You want to feel that stretch in your belly and your back and up through your legs to the tips of the fingers. And we're going to do one more. So last one, up we go, inhaling, nice deep breath in to get some oxygen flowing through our body. Take our feet astride, slightly turned out, a little bit of a knee bend, and we're just gonna to reach to the side, alternating sides. Now, if you have problems with your shoulders and you cannot take those arms up as high as mine are going, just bring them a little bit lower across and work within a range that works for you. Otherwise, reach up, reaching over. We'll do four more, three more, and last two, and one. Good. Let's do some knee bends, being mindful of how much our knees allow us to bend them. So if you can go lower, you may have to widen your feet to kind of keep those knees a little more tracked over the heels rather than directly over the very edges of the toes, just to protect our knees. And if you want to make it teasy, that's also fine. So sometimes you'll have those days where you need to work on stability, which means you may have to work within a smaller range of motion. And if you're working and going for a little bit more strength and you're able to without intense pain, you're going to go down into those lower lunges and knee bends. So let us do four more of these and three. And remember, we want to always think about hugging the belly in and breathing. Okay, now let's bring our feet back in to the center and let's just march it out. Just get that energy going again bringing that heart rate up a little bit, use those arms. So again, I'm not really pounding the ground, but some of you may find, you know, I'm better with my sneakers on. So, but I'm definitely not jumping at all during this workout. And we won't be coming down to the floor. We'll do it all standing. If you need a chair or if you're close to a wall like I am, that might be helpful. So let's do a few more of these, get those arms moving as well. And if you just want to do the arms, you know, that'll get that heart rate up too. Go a little bit lower, you can come up again, you can march it out again. Just a few more, about 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, there you go, three more, two, and one. All right, plant those feet down. Let's take a nice big stretch. Open the chest, open the heart, look up. Exhale, hug yourself. Inhale again, open out. Exhale, hug yourself, maybe opposite arm on top. Inhale, alternate those arms if you can, belly in. Last one, big breath. Anyone might want to put some fun music on that you like. And now we're going to go to our weight work. So we're going to pick up the set of weights that works for you. I have fives and I have twos. I'll probably work my five pounds today. We won't be doing any more than 12 reps. We'll do maybe eight to 12 reps and you can work within that range, pausing if needed, otherwise, you get through this 12 with me. So coming down to pick up our weights, we'll start with some shoulder presses. We're gonna take our feet out to a comfortable turned out position. Soften the knees, shoulders roll back, arms up. My elbows are just about shoulder height. But when I go to the push up, I'm gonna drop down to here to start. Tucking the tailbone lightly so as not to strain the back. And then push up and release down. So 12 of those. Exhale, inhale. Now, as I push up, I do tend to pull my stomach in. 
I find this helps to strengthen my stomach and my back, gives it support without me having to do hundreds of sit-ups. Pushing up, releasing down. Keep going, let's do about five more. Four, driving the energy upwards, exhaling up, two more, and one more. Pause a moment and then come down. All right, let's take our feet in and soften those knees and do some bicep curls. So palms are face up. We're going to pull up as we exhale and inhale on the way down. Pulling the belly inwards as we exhale with the armward movement up. <sighs> Breathe out. Let's go for 12. One, two, three, four. Keep breathing. You've got this. Come on, halfway there. Five, four. Go as high as you can with those arms. And last two. And one. And we'll go back to the shoulder presses. So take your feet out again. We're going to add a little more leg movement now. So we're going to go down as low as we can, and this is our starting point. Bring our arms up, take them slightly below the shoulders to start. And now can you go lower? So there we are, 12 of them now. One, exhale up, three, four. Let's try and keep our shoulders nice and wide and our chest nice and open. So we've got about eight here nine try not to snap the knees and lock them at the top two more last one and bring the arms down step or heel toe back in going back to our bicep curls this time we're going to turn our toes very slightly out soften the knees and turn the arms out a little bit just to work a slightly different angle on the bicep muscle breathe out here we go with 12 of them one, two, three. Again, try to exhale on the way up. Five, six. Think about pulling the belly in as you pull those arms up. That's about 10. Last two, one, arms down. And that's it on those biceps for today. Now we're gonna do a little bit of tricep work. So you're going to double up your weights if you want to. If you need to go lighter to the twos and double up, so then you'd have four, unless you're working in kilos, um, or put one down. I'm gonna double mine up. Okay, so I'm going to take my feet parallel and squat down a little bit, sitting downwards into that. And then I'm gonna drive my arms up overhead, hugging them inwards towards the ears as much as I'm able to. I'm going to slowly release the arms down behind my back without overarching the back. So that's where you want to pull the belly in to support the back, the tailbone's moving towards the earth below you, not back. <laughs> Unless we're tilting, but we're not tilting right now. And then we're going to exhale up and inhale down. And we'll do 12. So here we go. Shoulders down to start with. One, two, three, four, five, six, halfway there, eight, nine, ten, and last two, and one, and bring them through. Now we're going to do kickbacks, so you're going to let your shoulders and arms relax a moment, bend your knees. Now we're going to send the tailbone behind us rather than directly down to the ground. So if you're comfortable tilting like this, bring the chest slightly forwards, Draw the belly in, bring the arms up to the shoulders and press back. And then you'll come inwards as you inhale. So are you ready? 12 of them. One and two. Now I have a little squeeze right at the top of the or back end of the movement to really ensure that I'm working my bicep muscles. So I've got about six, seven, eight, Nine, look slightly ahead of yourself, a few feet ahead. I'm gonna go about three more, two, and you're gonna hold that last one back. And if you're able to turn your palms up, now shoulders back, and then you're gonna pulse up. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, keep going, come on. And about six more, five, make it quite small. Three, keep it up as high as you can. And last one, hold three, two, lengthen those arms, and bring it down. Now, sometimes you may find 
If you go up just a little bit too much, you'll get a cramp. So you have to sort of find that area that you can work within. Back to that first tricep move we did. So knees soft, now we're more upright. Elbows in, drive the arms up. Take them back a little if shoulders allow. So you don't want to hit yourself in the head or back. So 12 of them. So we'll start down as we press up, draw the navel to the spine. Here we go, 12. One, exhale up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can do this, come on. Eight, nine, and you can always do it without weights if you feel like today's not the day to add the weights. About two more. Exhale up, last one, and through we come. All right, last exercise for our triceps, our kickbacks. And remember, knee soft, slightly hinge at the hips, opening out across that chest, and here we go. Breathe in, and exhale. <sighs> Inhale, press back, exhale. Three, four, five, six, seven, you're going to feel the back of the arms working, or you should, even if you're not using a heavy weight. We've got about four, three, two, you've got it. Hold there, palms up. Remember, long arms, little pulses now, 12, 11, 10, 9, keep breathing, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, remember, hold that last one, long, long arms, neck long, 3, 2, 1, ah. release and bring your weights in. And you can put those weights down for now. Back to just a little bit of movement here. Side to side, just get that. Our heart rate now, our heart rate does go up when we're doing those strengthening exercises, but you may feel like, okay, let's put those weights down. And this sort of begins to like pump the blood even more through maybe the whole body. So just moving side to side, and then we'll go to a toe tap. So tap, tap, and then a reach. There you go. And you sort of look in the direction of where your fan's going. Good. Couple more each side. And then we'll go up a little higher. Keep breathing. Eight more each side. About six more each side. Sometimes I lose count, but just stay with me here. Five, four, three. I'm going to slow it down a little bit and one and pause now just legs down and up down and up. remember what i said at the beginning if you've got knee problems work on the stability of the way the knee tracks to over or towards the foot we don't want to let those knees plop in so if you can go nice and low today go a little bit lower let's do about five more if you feel like taking your arms out, just work those arms a little here. Good. Two. Hold here. Now hold down in that plie squat as low as you can. Knees back. And we're going to do some arm circles. 20, 19, 18. Just small ones. Come on. 15. Don't put those arms down. 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine, can you go lower in that squat? Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Keep smiling. And reverse, back. 20, 19, maybe come up a little bit. 17, 16, 15, go down a little bit. Or a lot, widen those feet if you need to. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep breathing, come on, you're there. Four, three, Two, but you thought I was going to stop. I'm not. I'm going to go up, 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 up. Five, four, three, two, one. Push, 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 push. Five, four, three, two, one. Up, up, up. Long arms. Come on. Three, two, one. Last time. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Ah, come down. Toe heel in. March it out. There you go. Good job. You're almost there. You've just got about five more minutes. Let's pick up this pace a little bit. Now we're going to actually put our toes right back down and our heels down. And we're going to do a sort of a strange sort of arm action as if we were running. But our feet are glued to the ground. Do not move your feet off the ground. 
Here we go. 10 more. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Try and keep your hips pretty stable. 3, 2, 1. Now roll those arms. So something reasonably simple, but after a while you really start to feel those arms moving. Do about five more here. Three, two, one, and reverse. Here we go, come on. Roll those arms in, make a fist. It actually makes you feel like you're working your arms a little more. Do 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Ah, you're done with that. All right, shake out your hands, open and close your fingers. Take your feet astride again. Take a good deep breath in. Exhale, just say a swing, and again. Inhale, reach for the sky and then let it go. Two more. Inhale, <sighs> breathe out. We all forget to breathe deeply. So let's breathe really nicely in, deeply and <sighs> low it out. And then a little bit closer with the feet, gonna punch, 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 punch. 20 more, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, reach for the sky, up you go, come on, good, good, let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and just reach to the side, down and up, good, long arm down the side of your leg, and a few more, come on, breathe, we're slowing it down. Nice. Good. One more each side. <sighs> Knees are soft. One arm's going to come up and you're going to gaze down to the foot of this lengthened arm. Coming up, take it to the other side, reach for the sky, and then up and over and look to the foot of this arm that's reaching the ground. <sighs> Coming up. Open those arms out again, reach your heart up, give yourself a hug, and again, inhale, and exhale, arms to the side, shake out your feet a little bit, good, and you are done. So that was probably roughly about 20 minutes. So hope you, hopefully you can join me another time for a workout, and we'll progress, and we'll get better, we'll get stronger, but most of all, have fun and try and do some sort of exercise every day. I'll see you next time. Bye.